everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you're new and viewing for the first time, welcome. We would love to have you as part of the Elegance family. We would love for you to hit that subscribe button to your right and make sure to turn on your post notifications so that you will be notified every time we post a video. Today we are making a Dollar Tree centerpiece for a wedding, anniversary, or any special event that you might have. So if you think you may be interested in making this project, just continue to keep watching and let's get into making this Dollar Tree centerpiece. First off, we are going to start off by spraying the box and you can spray it in any color that you desire. As you can see, it is a little windy out, so it was a little more difficult to spray this box, but we did manage to get the job done. The box is about 14 inches high. We are adding a tray, so it will make it much higher. We are now going to measure the bling wrap to the box, so we'll have perfect measurements. Don't worry too much about the hangovers from the bling wrap. It comes in rolls, so it makes it easier for you to just cut what you don't need. If you are on a tight budget and you just want a lavished wedding, this is a centerpiece to make. It is a beautiful centerpiece. Everything came from the Dollar Tree except the brooches and you can also pick up the bling wrap from the Dollar Tree, but because we're doing such a pretty big project, we decided to pick it up from Michaels and even with this roll of bling wrap, we got it under $7 with the coupons that we use. Also the brooches came on a coupon too. So everything was inexpensive to make, especially if you're having some type of special event and you want that luxury look, but you can't afford to pay the money for it. This is actually a very good project to make. Hope you don't mind the raspy voice. I'm a little under the weather today, but I needed to talk and let you know and explain what's going on so that you won't be in the dark on what's going on. So hope you don't uh, mind the raspy voice. Uh, uh, hopefully this raspiness will be over soon, but I do apologize in advance in case it is a little raspy. But like I did say, I wanted to make sure that you understood the project that was being made. And if you make a mistake while cutting your bling wrap to fit your box and it happens to be cut too short, don't panic. You can always cut it to fit the box. The bling wrap comes in rolls and so it makes it much easier to be able to cut out a roll and just apply it to your project. We're gluing the bling wrap to the corners. It gives it more stability and helps it to hold in place. So when you apply your Mod Podge and smooth down the bling wrap, you won't end up with the puckles. And you will continue this process until the box is covered in bling. This centerpiece can be made in many colors, and if they don't have the color of the bling wrap that you desire to use, you can also go with a material because the material looks beautiful up against the mirror. We're just pressing the corners together to make sure there's no puckles in the bling wrap 
and to make sure that it stays smooth throughout. the mirror to every side until the box is completely mirrored. This centerpiece is very sturdy. It will hold up against any type of wind. The mirrors that we are applying onto the box makes it sturdy and it gives it that stability. Also, if you want, you can also add a rock of some kind inside of the box and close it up before you add the bling wrap to the box. part you always want to make sure your mirrors are clean because it just gives it a nice polished look we are now putting together the bottom of the centerpiece so we are going to apply this part to the bottom of the centerpiece it's the stand we are now making the top of the centerpiece
take in the candle holder, you will flip the tray and apply the candle onto the back of the tray. Then you will take a napkin ring holder and glue it to the back of the tray. And then you will glue the napkin ring holder onto the candle holder and you have your candles. Part is optional. You can leave them plain or decorated. We decided to decorate them a little just to give them more of a glam look. And also we added a little brooch. So this does complete our tutorial for today. This Dollar Tree centerpiece. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so at this time so you can receive all notifications every time we post a new video. Until next time, may God bless you and keep you. And we will see you on our next video. Bye.